Curiosities about Robert Oppenheimer, father of the atomic bomb. Number 8. Associations with the Communist Party. Robert Oppenheimer is famously known for leading the Manhattan Project, which developed the atomic bomb. He was known to be left-leaning in his political views, and some speculate that he was even associated with the Communist Party. During the 1950s, Oppenheimer's security clearance was revoked by the United States government when he was accused of being a security risk. This was largely due to his alleged involvement with the Communist Party as well as his friendship with several party members. Oppenheimer publicly denied any association with the party, but he was never able to prove his innocence as the American government classified any documents relating to his case. Although his security clearance was later reinstated, these associations with the Communist Party will always be a part of his legacy. Number 7. Died of Cancer, Haunted by Moral Dilemma Robert Oppenheimer was a brilliant physicist best known as the father of the atomic bomb, having led the development of the first nuclear weapon used in war. He was also known for his moral dilemma concerning the destructive power of the atomic bomb, which led him to suffer from depression and guilt in the years after its use in World War II. Unfortunately, he never recovered from this emotional trauma, and eventually died of throat cancer in 1967 at the age of 63. In his final years, Oppenheimer was haunted by his moral dilemma and the destructive power of the atomic bomb that he had helped create. Some believe that his guilt and depression were a contributing factor in his death, although the exact cause remains unknown. Number 6. Nobel Prize Nominations Robert Oppenheimer was nominated for the Nobel Prize three times in the fields of chemistry and peace. The first nomination in 1947 was for the Nobel Prize in Chemistry, in recognition of his work in theoretical physics. The second nomination came in 1954 for the Nobel Peace Prize, in recognition of his efforts to control the proliferation of nuclear weapons. The third nomination in 1963 was also for the Nobel Peace Prize, and was in recognition of his efforts to promote international arms control. Despite his three nominations, Oppenheimer never won the Nobel Prize. Number 5. Inspiration to Films and Series Robert Oppenheimer's life and his work on the Manhattan Project have provided inspiration to many films and series. The most famous of these is the 1983 TV movie, The Day After Trinity, which follows Oppenheimer's life from his early scientific research to his involvement with the development of the atomic bomb. The 2006 film, Dr. Strangelove or, How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb, was also heavily inspired by Oppenheimer's life, with its fictional protagonist based on him. Additionally, the AMC series, Breaking Bad, featured a character based on Oppenheimer, Walter White, who was a professor of chemistry who was drawn into a dangerous world of crime. Finally, the Netflix animated series, Neo Yokio, featured a character named Robert Oppenheimer who was a robot with a genius intellect. These works of media have all highlighted Oppenheimer's life and work, showcasing it to a global audience. Number 4. Head Scientist of Los Alamos Laboratory Robert Oppenheimer was the head scientist of the Los Alamos Laboratory during the development of the atomic bomb during World War II. He was chosen for the role due to his expertise in theoretical physics and his leadership skills. Oppenheimer worked tirelessly with his team of scientists to develop the technology that would enable the United States to develop an atomic weapon. During his time as head scientist, Oppenheimer established a strict code of security for the laboratory and was known to be a strict but fair leader. He also became the first person ever to witness the detonation of an atomic bomb an event that would later become known as the Trinity Test. Oppenheimer went on to be a major force in the development of the nuclear age and was later awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1963 for his work on the atomic bomb. Number 3. Disagreements with Albert Einstein Robert Oppenheimer and Albert Einstein disagreed about the implications of nuclear technology. Oppenheimer was in favor of using atomic bombs and believed that the technology could be used as a deterrent, while Einstein was a pacifist and believed that the use of such weapons was immoral and unethical. Oppenheimer argued that the atomic technology could be used to protect countries from aggressors, while Einstein held that the use of such weapons would ultimately lead to destruction and devastation. Despite their disagreement, the two men respected each other's opinions, and both continued to remain friends throughout their lives. Number 2. Wrongly credited for proposing the black hole. Robert Oppenheimer is widely credited as the father of the atomic bomb for his involvement in the Manhattan Project during World War II. However, he did not actually propose the concept of a black hole, despite what is often stated. Although he did research on black holes, his work did not involve proposing the concept. That credit belongs to John Michel, a British astronomer who wrote about the idea in a 1784 letter to Henry Cavendish. 
he discussed the concept of an object so dense that even light couldn't escape its gravitational pull. Oppenheimer's research focused on the behavior of particles in very dense environments, which included a black hole-like structure. Number 1. A polyglot, studied Sanskrit and Hinduism. Robert Oppenheimer was a polyglot, which means he had the ability to learn multiple languages. He was fluent in some of the most complex languages in the world, including Sanskrit and German. He also had a great interest in Hinduism, which is a religion native to India. Oppenheimer attended school in the United States, Europe, and Asia, giving him exposure to many different cultures and beliefs. His knowledge of Sanskrit and Hinduism was instrumental in his career as a nuclear physicist, as he was able to understand the theoretical and philosophical implications of his work. As the father of the atomic bomb, Oppenheimer was a legendary figure who thought deeply not only about the implications of his work, but also about the implications of the larger world around him. Hey everyone! Thank you for watching this video about Robert Oppenheimer, father of the atomic bomb. Don't forget to check out our channel for more amazing curiosities around the world. See you next time.